depth calculation. You may have to approximate information about the depth of the real objects, metallic objects, or underground cavities with the measurements performed. Depth measurements may vary depending on the soil structure and the length of time the objects spent underground. During the analysis of measurements, press the depth analysis icon on the left menu of the application. In the window that opens, choose the soil type that is appropriate for the area you are working in. For example, you may select concrete if the area you work in is entirely made of rocks, stony if it is a stony ground, or light mineral for soils such as fields, and high mineral for soils with high levels of mineral. If you do not have any information or assumptions about the soil type, collecting depth information using more than one option will enable to make healthier calculations. Collecting the average of light mineral option and silt option measurements will generally generate healthier results. After selection the soil type, depth information will appear on the graphic for each point. Numbers on the graphics are in meters. Depth information for each point may be viewed within the signal square. If there are no magnetically susceptible objects or different underground anomalies are present in your measurements, depth information will be viewed as zero or very small numbers. As seen on the sample graphic, 1.26 is viewed on the metallic object. This means the depth of the metallic object according to the light mineral soil type is 1.26 meters. Data included in the depth information is generated with a specific calculation. This information gives you an approximate idea. This information on depth is not definite or binding.